September 14th, 2021, Word of Faith, Joel 2.28 And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. Folks, I am here to tell you that God the most high creator of this universe of our reality speaks to his children and even those that don't consider themselves his children. He wishes that not one perish. He sends his Holy Spirit to speak, to show people that he's there, that he's real and he is a living God. I personally have experienced dreams, prophetic dreams, for my private life, friends and acquaintances, and as well as world events, national events that have come to pass. My daughters, my husband have done the same. We knew the pandemic was coming. We knew the shutdown was coming. We knew schools would close. We knew this before it happened because God told us. We've also had other dreams about impending things coming very soon. Now, if you're asking, what are the different ways God speaks? First, he speaks through his word, the Holy Bible. Second, he can speak to your conscience, that small, still voice that says, stop, don't go to keep you safe. Or maybe you should go talk to that person and give them a word of encouragement. He also can speak to you audibly. I have heard the audible voice of God speaking literal names in my ear to call things out. He also gives you dreams. Some of these dreams need interpretation. Some of, some of them can be very literal. And he also will give you visions, as in open visions while you're awake. There are different reasons the Father gives us dreams and visions. Many times it's to prepare us for an impending threat a storm in our life that he wants us to overcome and storms about the nation and our government. A lot of the time, it's simply to guide us in our path, to walk us through his will for our life that we may be blessed in all that we do and all that we touch. And a lot of the time, it's so that we can pray for others, so that we can be a light and a blessing to others in their time of need, that we can stand in the gap and pray fervently for them who need it. God bless you all. I hope you enjoyed this word of faith this day.